This jump demonstration shows how to use Jump Pro's Support Vector Machines platform for building regression models. We're using the Boston Housing dataset from the Sample Data Library. We'll build a model predicting the continuous response M value, the log median home value in each of the 506 geographical areas in our dataset. We'll start by going to Analyze, Predictive Modeling, and choosing Support Vector Machines. We'll place M value into the Y response role, and our predictors into the X factor role. If we want, we can place a validation column into the validation role, and then click OK. We're presented with the Model Launch Control Panel, where we can specify our kernel function and associated parameters. We have the option of using a tuning design to fit a grid of parameter values for the specified kernel, which helps us find the best fitting model. For expediency's sake, we'll forego that here and use the defaults, though in practice using a tuning design is often a good idea. We also have the option to choose among different validation methods, but for now we'll stick with the validation column that we specified previously, and click Go to fit our model. Note that while our fitted model appears below, the Model Launch Control Panel remains so that we can fit and compare further models with different parameter settings. Each model fit is listed in the Model Comparison section, and we can check the box for whichever model we want to work with below. The Model Summary section displays a range of fit statistics for our chosen model, and the actual by predicted plots visualize the model's accuracy, with points closer to the diagonal being more accurately predicted. The model predictions don't look too bad, though we can see a small group of rows in both the training and validation sets that appear to be substantially underpredicted. These would be worth investigating further. Many other options are available under the red triangle next to our model. For example, the option to save the prediction formula back to our data table, and of course, the option to pull up the prediction profiler, which allows us to explore our model's predictions interactively.